walk to Northern Springs. We we're going to make something else for it. And what we were going to make was actually there was going to be a cave where you have to go inside the cave and you're going to have to take a mine cart. Uh, I, I went there? Got there? Probably did. So you were supposed to take a mine cart and the mine cart was going to lead you to this, um, in through this, um, into this tunnel where there's a road and then you end up in Northern Springs. So you, you, it was going to be a quest under, underground inside the mine cart in a mine shaft. But instead, I put the mine shaft in Northern Springs because, you know, we, we can't, um, the time that it would take to make the mine cart and make the mine was just, it was, it was just too much. We could, it's like, no, we got to release it. We got to do this already. It's like, McTee, we, we got to do this already. It's been, two, it's been a, about a year and a half. We can't continue, like, you know, delaying it. By the time, by the time we release it, Fallout 76 is going to already be out. Yeah. All right, so here I am in Northern Springs. Now, we're in a whole new area. And this is one of the final parts. This, this that I was going to make here, Cavern of Broken Faith, that was going to be one of the last parts in the, in the mod. In this one, anyways. Yeah, there's also a secret place. There's a secret way to get to Northern Springs. A secret uh, entry, which I will show later. So, okay, so here I am, Northern Springs, um, Cavern of Broken Faith. That was going to be one of the last places, one of the last quests in Northern Springs. And over here, where this road leads, that was going to lead to another world space. And um, over here, there's another road over here. This was going to lead to another world space. And this was also going to lead to another world space. And this was also going to lead to another world space. So I had a lot, lot of things planned for this. Uh, so while these guys are fighting over here, and this bluish cold color, that's the, that's the um, ambient setting for this place. It's supposed to feel cold. And I'm fighting wolves. So we're going a little bit further than I expected to. Hey, all right. So don't shoot this dog because that dog is Nevada, or this wolf actually. And Jared Fitch should be around here. Oh, he's in his suit. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do something else instead. I'm gonna go to Charlie's Hardware Store. And all the music, I composed everything. I recorded all that. So, really, in many ways, this is much more original than than I had originally anticipated. All right. Well, point of this point of this mod too was to make it feel and look exactly like if it came out with with um, with the game. So a lot of detail went into everything here. A lot of detail. So this is just a secret area, kind of, because right here there's a pick this. hardware, s the storage room, and the key is right here, the basement key. Judging from the amount of dust. I might want to shoot this guy instead of uh, fight him. All right, Quentin. We're going down. Oh, look what I found. 
A toy. Something doesn't feel right around here. All right. So we're heading down into the sewers. Gotta be careful. Whoa! I put that there. I forgot. Alright, so a little bit of a maze. I'm here. Wolfendale sewers. Yeah. I co I composed this song uh, specifically for Northern Springs too. The um, the whole the whole OST can be bought from Bandcamp. That to help support the mod and the development of it, because I mean this this is a lot of work. All of this is I a lot of work. Yeah, it smells awful. I'm sorry, I farted. All right. So there's a power armor in there, and if I was at the level to uh, to hack it, but I'm not. No way I'm cracking this. Could uh open that and just steal it. Uh oh, what happened? Oh, just oh lag. Oh, that'd be funny. Me and Mick T, we actually came up with the idea for this. The whole thing with the with the clown that lives in the sewers. Obviously, we got that kind of from Pennywise, a mix of uh, Pennywise and um, Homie the Clown from *A Living Color*. And his circus was going to be in here. This area was built specifically to put his circus in, like a crazy schizophrenic, a psychopath down here. Sarcastic. No, I just decided I just got bored of swimming in all this garbage, so I wandered over here. It takes a while because there's no vo voice for her. It's my garbage you're talking about. Listen, I'm trapped in here. I also there voiced them too. Keep the ah. Clear them out. I'll let you use what I've got. Clear them out for me and return here. I'll give you my sewer key and even throw in a little bonus. All right. Excuse me. So now he wants me to take out all those ghouls. And he's just going to stand there. Wait a minute. Excuse me. What's up? You know what? I think that the, that okay, ghoul. Right. I feel like. Hey. Ah, shit. We gotta do it over. He got distracted by the by the ghoul that attacked him. to make sure that nobody's going to follow me there. Alright. Who are you? 
came from the surface, didn't you? I just decided that I got bored of swimming in all this garbage, so I wandered over here. That's my garbage you're talking about. Listen, I'm trapped in here because these damn fucking ghouls keep getting into my sewers. My resources are limited, and I'm almost out. I need to get back to the surface. If you can clear them out, I'll let you use what I've got. Clear them out for me, and return here. I'll give you my sewer key, and even throw in a little bonus. Okay, I'll Sounds do it. Sounds good. Come back here when you clear them out. There we go. I'll let you in. Doesn't it feel good? Be a part of something as important as the Brotherhood. Oh, all right. Wait. I gotta put it on. Now tell me exactly where all the ghouls are that I have to kill. So there's a few over here. Let's see. No, not there. I would like to just like one day just sit on 3D sit just using um, 3D Studio Max. And just work on a bunch of like new assets. See what I can come up with. I mean, this game has a bunch of assets you could already use, but like it'd be interesting to have like a bunch of new stuff, like just for Northern Springs that you could just find. Give it like its own little, um, its own little style. It's very, very different than what you see. Okay, so that guy's dead. There's still a few left. Yeah. Definitely will have to use that anyways. Ah. Cornered here. Got to make sure that you kill them all. That's important. Kill him. I'm hit. Whoops. And that's with what, like. Four people and a dog still have trouble with all of this. Imagine, you know, you just decide to go at this place alone. You're gonna have to be a pretty high level. Uh, what? Fell through the floor? Stop beating up my dog! Alright. Bottle cap. Let's see what's over here. Let's see, um, so I don't have the sword key yet. Only opens with a key. I gotta talk to the clown after I'm done here. Let's 
security's too good. Can't get in there. There's some loot in there. Hopefully that's all of them. Really, since I'm from the old school and I play like a lot of those games like Super Metroid and Super Nintendo games that are just like generally really difficult and don't, don't give you exact hints as to what to do, I have a tendency to develop the same way when I'm, when I'm working on my games. I don't want to like, you know, put it too much where it's holding your, holding your hand all the way through. It's like once you figure it out, it's like, oh, okay, well, now I know what to do. That's what I got to do. Here's the key. The majority of the ghouls have to be down there. Finish this one last task for me, and you'll get your reward. All right, so I can take his stuff. He doesn't really have anything. Right, there's a few things here and there. Some of the stuff that um, gives a story. Now comes the big deal. Now we're going down. Dog meat, hey. stay back. Um, ammo do I have left? Running out. Shouldn't have done that. These guys never can never never carry anything. Make sure they're all dead. That it. Alright, so now things start getting ugly. Oh, no, I'm almost dead. Still with me here. As I beat on these zombies. 
Oh god, I'm almost dead again. Ah. Oh. It's not easy. Cool, cool. You're probably the last one. I think everybody else left. All right. Yeah, not really anything I could do about that. Clear the sewers for homeboy. I didn't think I was gonna die, but I did. It's because I had I, I I just went. Oh okay. Come back here when you clear them out. I'll let you in. Come back here when you clear them out. Oh okay okay. I know what happened. I don't want to squander my ammo because there's going to be a lot of ghouls that are going to be coming out of there. And I mean, there's only so many shotgun shells that I can waste. Oh yeah, I forgot. This gun has has like a special legendary effect on it. Kill that thing. Nothing I want there. Yeah, I remember making this source. These source. It was a lot of fun, but it did take a long time. Um when I made it, I could imagine I probably spent about a good three weeks, something like that, just placing all the garbage and building all the rooms. So, you know, people think that I wasn't doing anything or like, you know, I wasn't updating the, the mod, stuff like that. It's like, no, this stuff takes a long time. I'm not kidding. And then making this guy too. Come back here when you clear Ah, I'm not even done. I'll let you in. All right. Thought I cleared them out, all of them. I'm 
guess not. Okay, so there's nobody here. Maybe up here. There's got to be one that I forgot. Keep it going, keep it going. One here. One there. I got to make sure they're all out. And the guys that are stuck in the water. These guys dead? You dead? You dead? Alright, that guy's Ash. He dead. Must be back here. Ah, itches. Nothing here, nothing here. save it so I don't have to do that again. Yeah, making this was a lot of fun. Yeah, this is where they were. with my own grenade. One more. Seems to be over here. Alright, that should be it. Clear the sewers for homeboy. Clear the sewers for homeboy part two. You know, it's kind of funny that I was planning like a whole sewer junction underneath Northern Springs. There was going to be areas like this. And there was also plans that there was going to be a, like a hidden vault underneath the, where you travel through the sewers and you find the vault. But I haven't got around to it because now I'm doing other things. Doesn't mean I might not do it in the future, because, I mean, I still play this game and I still like it. But, I do need a break. I do need a break. Alright. Two over here. coming out over here. Wait, who had a stim pack? One of these guys? No. Oops. Kill him. Oh. 
Uh, my health is fine right now. I just gotta worry about it when they when when the big big mobs start coming out. It's the reason why I pulled out this gun, because I have over a thousand rounds for this. I think that melee is the best option. I'm running out of stim packs too. I can pickpocket this guy. Place. Don't they blow up if you put like um, grenades on them? I guess not. Drink the water. Ammo is so important in this game. You really do not want to squander ammo. Yeah, so here I am, and now it's... These guys. I'm not sure how many of these feral ghouls come out, but I think it's probably about maybe 30. That you have to kill. When you think about it, that's that's kind of like Killing Floor. I was playing Killing Killing Floor recently, and I just like that just reminded me of that for, for right now. Where you get the where you get the, the um, all the waves, a bunch of zombies start coming out just like this. It was a fun thing figuring out how to um, how to make a system that um, keeps keeps um, instancing like unlimited hordes until you reach like a certain number, complete an objective, and they'll just keep coming. So that's that's the um, that's what's happening right now. They're just gonna keep coming until I reach that. Reach that objective of killing 30 of these guys. This guy's a tough guy. Still fucking die already, man. Bloodied machete. What? Ah, it's weak.
That would be perfect right now. How many do we got? I don't even know. I'm gonna keep killing him. Out. All right. All my guys are down, aren't they? Uh, gotta take a Nuka Cola or something quickly. Oh, Gulf Printers. Who cares? That's good enough. They're handing it to me. Radiator blood, no. Oh, dog meat. You could call it quantum. All right. Ah, oh, I could have just leveled up. <laughs> Ooh, I did it. Still, they're still um, coming out, but the objective is clear. I'm out of here. He'll take it from there. Let's get out of here. So that's how you beat Homie's quest. I mean, oh well, shit, I fell. So basically, that's just how you beat Homie's quest. You free up the, you you free up the sewers from um, all the ghouls that've been um, taking over. And this is what happens. Taken care of. Yep. Already taken care of. 
I hardly even broke a sweat. Nice work. Now I can be stuck on supplies. Here, for what I promised. All right. Let me give one to uh, Quentin over here because he's an ass hey. clown. How do you equip it? Okay, good. <laughs> give one a Piper too. Our weapons. Oops, wrong thing. Ah! She's got all this shit, so I'll just drop and have her grab it. Alright. Grab it! Come on, Piper, get the clown nose. I had to take a picture of that because it's just too funny. All right. I forgot. He's got another quest for me. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it while I'm here, instead of just like wandering around for no reason. What do you need? Look, I used to be a raider. Part of the relentless raider gang up north. The lead in Jose. He's a tiny Puerto Rican asshole with an attitude. I didn't want to degrade myself anymore, so I left. But because he put a bounty on my head, I see a red Dressed up as a clown, you know? That way I wouldn't be recognized. He's been trying to hunt me down for a while now. I want you to take him out for me. See to it that their gang is put on ice. You up for the job? All right. Homeboy truly appreciates that. Here, this is where the relentless raiders hang out. Careful. We'll see is a cocky little fucker. All right. So the story behind uh, home, Homeboy the Clown is, uh, yeah, he, he was a raider and he was part of that gang. Hold on. What is this life giver? Okay, that's good. It's important. But he left the gang. He didn't want to be a raider anymore. But he got a bounty. Oh, stupid light. He got a bounty put on his head, so he hid in the sewers. And uh, he changed his identity to Homeboy the Clown. And they've been searching for him, but they can't find him because he's in the source. And he's been living there for years. So now, I can either take that quest, find the Relentless, Relator, Re Relentless Raiders, and that is way up over here. Which I'm probably not going to do right now. I'm going to go to um, somewhere else. And I'm going to call it, I'm just going to end the stream after that, after this small quest that I'm going to do. And I'll continue this later. Okay, get out, get out of the sewers.
people probably never even bothered to like listen to what what the characters have to say or anything like that and saying that the that northern springs has no story no comment no comment the only thing that bothers me about Fallout 4. This is one of the cons. It's just the loading times and the skipping. Gotta get an SSD for this. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. I'm not gonna take Jared's quest. That's another long quest. I could do that one later. There he is. Kevin Larson's journal. Let's see this. So I arrived this far out from the Commonwealth, this unfamiliar territory. Before I escaped from the Institute, the number given to me was M342. For as long as I can remember my memories that they have implanted in me, I was born with the name Kevin. I was raised by an American family somewhere in the state of Washington, a large city formerly called Seattle. I lived a normal life. I had a I had a job, I had a girlfriend, just your ordinary young man trying to make it out in the world. My girlfriend and I had planned to head out and move to California and get married there. Then it happened. The last of my memories before I was trapped in the institute. We had got we got we had got a call over the phone that had had the Chinese that the Chinese had invaded America. We turned on the TV to look in horror as nuclear bombs began to fall. New York gone. DC gone. One after another gone. We tried to evacuate, but as we, as we stepped outside, a large flash blinded our eyes. So we held hands as the horizon began to disappear in front of us. That was it. All I remember was the binding, blinding light. Now, here, now I am here. Unfamiliar territory. I have never been in Boston before, but I would have loved to see it before the events that took place. Before I knew the old me had died. I had to leave the Commonwealth. I'm not going back to the Institute. That's not who I am. I kept traveling up north. And I've been living here in Northern Springs for about a year and a half now. But the Brotherhood of Steel have arrived in Wolfendale. They've set up a camp just ahead. I pass them every once in a while, try to remain calm. They don't seem to be after since here. So I just cross my fingers, but it has me paranoid. I must leave. I still haven't found a place to move to, so I need to stay here. Need to avoid any contact with the Brotherhood members. I hope there's someone out there still friendly and willing to help me. I have my hopes. Me. I have my hopes. Right? What was that? Oh, that was when I died. I don't know why the music was so delayed. Excuse me. All right, let me talk to him. And I gotta thank, um, um, who did this voice again? Um, Hello, who are you? Are you Brotherhood? Raider? You're just passing through. All right, I'm just gonna say I am neither. I lie. Okay then. Who are you? Just say, uh, Railroad. Savage Platypus did this. Okay. So, Railroad? I've never heard of them. Interesting. They help, they help since escape oh, from the Institute. that's a relief. Look, maybe you can help me. I'm looking for a settlement to stay at. If it's not too much to ask, I want to get out of the danger here. There's a place just north of here called Waker's Creek. Lead me there and I'll see how I can repay you. If he dies... Where is this place? Here. I'll mark it on your map. If he dies, then the quest will automatically fail. But it doesn't mean that you can't, um... You won't, um, be able to get the, um, the settlement. You can get the settlement for yourself. But he's just looking for a place to stay at, and he's going to be the leader of that um, that settlement. I'll see if he comes with us. There he goes. All right. Make sure that these guys don't cause much problems.
Doesn't it feel good? All right, part of let's keep going. Find Kevin Larson in a new home. I don't need to do those. And you see, if you just look around, you find little clues, little hints and clues of what, um, of where the story is, is like leading and what it's taking. Not everything's gonna be on text. This is like supposedly happening in real time. You gotta think about it like that. Oh, Rose. Take some shotgun cells. Here we go. And here, there's another note right here. Raider notes. We're setting up camp here. Tell Alan we've got control of the farm. So that gives you a little clue to what's going on. Our farm is over there, but we're not going to the farm. It's best to go around this area right here instead of going directly tor towards the cabin because then all of them don't go there. You idiot. Then all the um, all the ghouls appear. I think you should stay on point. This was placed there for future stuff. Like if I was gonna add some stories, those are just scavengers. They don't really do anything. But it's there. While it's loading. All right. So here we are. We've made it. Thanks, I know you. So here. Mm, gave me a, uh, gave me some stuff. So now he's, he's here. And here I am. Wakers Creek. My little, little tribute to Chris Cornell because I love his music. And while I was actually working on Waker's Creek, that's when I got the news that he died or he killed himself. So I placed an acoustic, acoustic guitar right here. I was like, wow, I can't believe he, he, he killed himself. So whoever knows about him would know what I'm talking about. Okay, so water health, air, you get nothing. Use the logs. Then you, you know, read the logs of what happened at the cabin. And somebody somebody came here. And then, there, cleansing this next to the godliness. And this is how you do this quest. We're out here Open the valves, purifier. Make them proud. And then there's a dead Mr. Handy here. And the bear that attacked him. to say you can't use this yet. So yeah, you can't use this yet. If you jump in the water, you'll, you'll fry. All right, so I go in here towards the purifier. And I really wanted to make this, this all, the caves look really unique compared to like the other places and just see them fall out. Thanks, thanks, appreciate it. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I gotta eat something. Inventory. Is there anything that I can use? These are kill claws. These things are gonna mess me up. Ah! I'm gonna need a better weapon than this. Not that. Oh, 
no, 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 they're gonna kill me. Come on. Ah. That's right. out from the beginning. I don't want to engage like in melee with these guys. Those, those kill claws will fuck me up. I try to get it in time, but it didn't come out. one shot I mean one one hit all right at least I didn't make it easy even for myself give me, give myself a challenge God, Bethesda, these load times are atrocious. Mylar Carvester is a dangerous creature when engaged in close combat. Forced to live in cold environments has caused its shell to accumulate so much ice that it freezes anything it touches. Beware and always keep something with heat nearby. Whatever. All right. Maybe I should put some mines like Piper says. Even bottle cap mines. Who cares? Mm. something better than this. Alright. Payback's a bitch. Ah. Let's go. Keep it going.
There, make it easy. Pain in the ass. All right, so here's one. Now, still playing. Talk about implementations. All right. I'll show you in a minute. All right, now the purifier, the the valves are open, so the purifier is on. Now it's active. There, completed. Next to godliness. This, right here. This is going to lead elsewhere. I was going to go deeper into into the underground. More Mireworks. Let's see if it gets worked on some more. But it's already there. All the plans are already there. Just put them aside. And once again, all the music was composed by me right here. All right. So here's something cool that I wanted to make out of this. Because in all of Fallout, there's no area that you can't have a place where you can just swim if you wanted to. Every All the water is irradiated and stuff. But now with the purifier on, you could have this little lake area for yourself. And right, go over here. Now you can use a workshop. Get rid of all this stuff. Scrap it for wood. And there's Kevin. What do I want to assign him to? Scrap some of this junk. I'm going to put something new here. Ah, I could scrap these two, but I kind of like that there, so. Good place to find junk is right here. Scrap some of these. And I made my own style of, uh, of creating the, uh, what is that, the, the barrier around the area. So, know that it's mine. Uh, okay. So, let's give this guy some place that he should defend. Let's give him a guard post. I'll assign him. This is going to look a little awkward on this hill. Right there. Okay, so... Assign this guy. There it is. Resource assigned. Guard tower. What the hell are you doing? So there you go. That's all I'm going to be streaming for today. I hope you enjoyed this stream. It's a little bit long, but um, yeah, there it is. That's Northern Springs. There's still a lot more to do. And um, I will show you. And you don't have to... The whole point of this mod was not to go straight into the main quest and expect this and that. It's supposed to be about exploring and figuring it all out and finding places like, you know, finding, finding a little quest. Thanks. Appreciate it. And, um, you know, going, exploring, finding settlements, finding little quests here and there, loot, especially a lot of loot, 
take it back into the Commonwealth, continue your story, keep going, and come back when you want to, build, build a little settlement here and there, make the connections. Yeah, a lot of people do that for some reason. I don't know. You know, the, the whole point was not to just like straight go into the main quest and not do anything else. You know, you have to look around. I'm going to go back one real one, one little thing real quick and then I'll end the stream. I'll take a take a break tonight. I'm going to play a little bit of GTA 5. I just began that game. I played this game for thousands for over a thousand hours and um You know, the, making this mod took me two years, and I plan to work on it later, but not right, not right now, with all the bad things that's been happening. Oh, good. Good, good. They're not appearing. All right, so I could get to Santa Togan later. The Legend of Harold. Legend of Harold. He was a talking tree found in Washington, D.C. It was said that it held the power to restore life to anything around him. No one really knew where it came from. But perhaps it was a human long before merging into a tree. The area where he had been found garnered a group of worshippers, considering it some sort of god. But after its death, no one really knew the... No one really... No, no one will really know the truth. And there's a picture of Harold. This is the last image taken of it before it died. The location was called the Oasis, the only place known to man in the wastelands to have green life growing all around it. Take that. I could use that later. Clarice Cabin Shelter. Ah! Oh, what the? That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that's just wonderful. <laughs> There's so many of them, damn it. Ah, I'm beating my ass again. I need some dog food. All those pictures are custom. Little things that you can add here and there. And this is the shelter where they all became ghouls. I think there's a there's one more note somewhere around here. Uh, it's on the table. Ah, yes. I did that to get people's attention so that they could see it. The bonds in Boston have dropped. We didn't have access to a vault. I'm writing to let you know that I'm still alive. For the time being, however, I don't know for how long. Besides, what is there left to do down here? All I can do is write. It keeps me sane during these difficult times. People are beginning to feel sick. We've been digging for several months now, and we have been having to take turns. As there is obviously not enough beds, obviously not enough beds down here for all of us. Some dig during the morning, some dig during the afternoon, some dig during the late night. Some just got sick and tired and decided to leave. Endure in dire. Ah, okay, I found another typo. Endure the wasteland or head deeper into the sewers. I tried to get my entire family and friends down here, but the food supply is very scarce. There's not enough for everybody. We don't know how long we can keep this going. Russell Cooley. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed the stream. There will be more later. Um, so that's my mod, Northern Springs. You can check it out on Nexus. It was up to me. And shut up, dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you can check that out on you can check that out north I mean um, Nexus mods, Northern Springs, Northern Springs, and um, that's it for now. I'll talk to you. I mean I'll uh, stream later, and I hope to see you there. Peace out.